morning and we know Hoosiers love basketball and while the most famous games have taken place in gyms and arenas across the state, there's still a passion for the sport hidden away in some of the most quaint places in Indiana. Eyewitness News anchor Scott Swan has this story. Over time, fresh becomes faded. Uh, it's been up there for quite a while. Years take their toll. I would like to tear it down, but then I hate to too because it's been there so long, you know. Everything eventually gets old. Kind of part of the place. But there's a history left behind. And it's good history. Sometimes the old can become iconic. I uh, put this up several years ago. It's uh, an old basketball goal, and the name that's up there on them is my grandkids and a couple of their kids. These are the images we've grown up with. Any place kids want to gather. That tree out there, the side of the barn. Seen so many times. No nets, nets, no backboards. Oh yeah, you're the one that's got the basketball goal in the grain bin. Symbols of a love story. Been a lot of hoops played on them. Between a state and a sport. I think it is in the sport here. Indiana and basketball, they go together. But there's a lost chapter in this rural romance that most haven't read. Ready to go to school? Yeah. So here goes to school. One hidden from view, <laughs> where the setting is fit for a movie. You come up here and you can't help but think of the movie Hoosiers. Except here, it's real. And this is where it started. An Indiana tradition yep. called barn ball. There we go. Dale and Eric have come here since they were young boys. When we were kids, I mean, it was like you walked into a gym. I mean, the floor was like a gym floor. It was, it was honestly incredible. Playing hoops in the hayloft is still incredible. Just be sure to watch where you step. Oh, sh <laughs> you got that on camera. <laughs> you, you may become a foot or two shorter per step, but, but I mean, there's still ways around it. You can still play horse if you had to. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be able to do that because it, it brings back a lot yeah. of memories when we were kids. It was makes you feel like a kid again. Oh, <laughs> holy cow! <laughs> the Dandy Breeze Dairy Farm. Count it, count it. Yes. Is also a hoops haven. This is our horse arena. Yeah, oh yeah. From the corner, we'll go from the sides here. Oh, that's right. No. Ah. H. H. H for you. You know try and throw it through the holes in the sides of the barn, or you hit it off the ceiling. Oh! No. What's up here? Um, that is a horse shot gone wrong. It's Just, been up there a long time? Oh, it's been up there for about 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Whatever you think the most impossible, improbable shot there is. That is the uh, far corner shot from the back right. It's about a 50-foot shot. <sighs> that was terrible. That's what you're gonna try to do, and you know, every now and then, oh, oh, oh <laughs> you'll get extremely lucky. Oh, oh! And it'll go in. Got it. And come inside this barn, because there's something up there that has drawn players for generations. More or less converted, no longer used as a farm, but get the gymnasium upstairs. A gymnasium so impressive, it's nicknamed the Palace. Can't feel a cow <laughs> oh. Glenn Canfield has been watching basketball inside his barn since the 1960s, back when his sons were much younger. It kind of put us on the map in a way. You could go about everywhere in the county. People say, where are you from, Frankton? Yeah, I don't know where it is. But I played, it. I played basketball in a barn there once, I think. The Frankton High School team that reached the state championship game still plays here from time to time. When you come up here and play during the summer with all your friends, the place is like, you've been here forever. A lot of memories back to playing ball. What's, uh, what's basketball mean to Indiana? 
No, number one. <laughs> you know, Dad's, Dad's legacy. You've played a lot up here, ain't you? Yeah. yeah. I'll be up here more often now. Oh, well, any time. Yep, any time. Any of you. It just, you come up here and it just opens up a whole different world. Aw. Oh. Get out of here. This barn could be clear, cleared out or it could be filled to the ceiling with hay, but you'll always leave a path for the hoop just so you can get some shots of. In Indiana, the heartbeat is the sound of a basketball, no matter where it's played. Barn ball. <laughs>